this video, I'm going to show you how to update the fonts on your Squarespace website. I'm here in the Baylard theme in Squarespace 7.1, and we're going to change the fonts. So to do that, you'll first go to Design, and then click on Fonts. And here is where you set the fonts for the entire website. So you can see right now all the fonts are pop-ins. I'm a big fan of having only one or two fonts on your site for a couple of reasons. One is just for design consistency. I think it's nice to have one font or a pair of fonts that work well together so you don't have crazy things going on that don't necessarily match. And also the more fonts that you add here, the more code it's taking to load those fonts and the slower your website will load. So. Here in this example, I'm gonna actually add two fonts and then I'm gonna throw in a third for a special case that I will talk about later. So for our headings, which are these larger um, text areas here, let's click edit and I'll actually show you the difference between the headings and paragraph text. So if I click here, this starts with you as a heading one. Now we also have options of heading two, heading three, and heading four. So you can see these are all headings, and this is paragraph text, which comes in three different sizes. So you can adjust the size of your headings and your paragraphs, but you get one font for headings, one font for paragraphs, a font for buttons, and then I'll show you what miscellaneous entails as well. But first, let's start with headings. So instead of pop-ins, let's make this a little more feminine, a little more fun, and we're gonna um, go with a Adonis. So if you know what font you want to use, you can just type it in right here and click. If you're not sure, and then click save. And you can see it's already updated here. So let's go back. And if you're not sure what font you want, you can actually browse all the fonts. They show you little snippets of what they look like based on the font name. So you could get an idea for what you want to use here. Um, I really like some of the um, display fonts, so Playfair Display is a really nice one as well for um, headings. You can see it's pretty similar to Adonis, so let's go back. I just think Adonis, it's pretty unique um, and just makes me happy. So we're gonna go with Adonis. All right, let's go back and now let's set our paragraph font. So I think um, there's a font that pairs really well with Adonis and it is Pontano Sands. It's another one that you don't see used a ton. Um, and you can see it actually, it's like a little small now. So what we can do is we can go in and change the sizes of these fonts as well. So right now, paragraph one is 1.4 REM. That's a relative size measurement to how you're viewing the website. So we could bump that up or down. Paragraph two, I'm gonna bump up just a hair to 1.1. And the paragraph three, I'm gonna use leave at 0.9. That's really handy for, um, for footer text, especially for copyright and that sort of thing, legal things. It's nice to have kind of a smaller font there. And as that little window reminded us, changes that we make here in the fonts menu propagate across your entire site. So if I change a paragraph font here, it changes that font everywhere on your website. And we can also do things like we can change the weight of the font. Now Pontano, Pontano Sans only has one weight. Other fonts will have multiple weights so you can make the text lighter or, or heavier. Um, you can change the style so you could for some fonts, you have the option of making it always italics, which I wouldn't do, but I like to stick with normal. Line height is the distance between the lines when the text wraps around. So if we wanted to make that tighter, we could, but I think having some space feels really nice there. The other option I, on many fonts, I like to add a little bit of letter spacing, and this is a space just between the letters. I'm just gonna bump this up a tiny bit and then text transform. Sometimes for headings, you would wanna make them all uppercase or all lowercase or capitalize everything. I usually leave this none. So let's go ahead and save this. So you can see the site's looking really different already. Now, the other things that we wanna change are inside the buttons. So normally you would want this to match either your heading or your paragraph style. And what's really nice is when I click on one of these, I can see the fonts that are already pulled into this website. So let me just click Pontano Sans 
and click save. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be a little crazy here and I'm gonna make this always capitalized. So this is a time when you can take advantage of this text transform, make your buttons always capitals. I'm gonna bump up the letter spacing even more here. There we go and click save. You can also change the sizes of the fonts in your buttons, just like we changed the size of the fonts for the headings and paragraphs. And finally, miscellaneous. Now this covers a lot of different things, um, pricing, tags, categories, um, metas, uh, metadata for blogs and things like that. So I'm just gonna make this Pontano Sans as well and save it. And again, you can play around with the default settings here if you wanted to change any of the weight style, text transform, and base size. But I'm gonna leave all that as is. So you can see things already look pretty different. Um, just by changing the font, it gives our website a really different feel. Now, what if, for example, you wanna change the font size of your navigation? So let's go back into fonts. And once we're here in this fonts menu, we can click on something on our site and it's gonna pull up what's specific to that here. So you can see that it is currently defaulted to paragraph size two. So if I wanted to just make it a little bigger, I could choose paragraph size one, or I could get crazy and make it a custom paragraph size, or even crazier and make it a totally custom font. So if you wanted to make this your heading font, you could. Um, let me save that and then you could play around with making it all caps. Doesn't really match the button anymore, but you get the idea here. So play around with anything you want to play with the um, font on. If you click it, it'll pull it up here in the menu for you and then you can adjust it. Now, I promised you I would give you a special case of when I use an extra font sometimes. Now that is if you are just typing in your site title and Squarespace and you're not uploading a logo, you often want this to kind of stand out and stand alone and look a little interesting. So that is when I would break my rule and use a third font. So let's go back in our fonts menu, click the site title, and here I'm just gonna change this to custom. And instead of the Adonis, I'm gonna browse all family and I'm gonna choose something like lobster too to make it look totally different and save that. And then you can adjust the size of this as well. We can make it really big. We can make it uppercase, which looks terrible in that font. So we'll leave it here and we can make it really heavy. So. That's the only time I would really want to introduce an extra font, but it can be fun to do if you're using just the typed in site title. Again, if you're using a logo, then all of that information is coming in with your logo image and you don't need to worry about assigning it here. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and you can also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.